There's a 484 in progress at most store. On it. Seriously. Never petty theft. When are we gonna get something interesting for once? Martin, buddy, bro, pal, come on now. These cases are damn easy. Just suck it up. You know I hate you. And I hate you when you're right. Finally, the cops have shown up. Hi, hello. Please ignore my grumpy partner. He's in a bad mood. If you do realize that if this were to be a game, that'd be the main character, right? Here you go, taking the spotlight, I swear to God, Martin. As much as I would love to hear the two of you bicker, some brat came into my store and stole a few things. So, it would be nice if you could, you know, help out. Oh, okay, okay. A um, couple of questions first, though. Do you have any CCTV footage of the punk? You see, all of those cameras are for show. None of them actually work. I thought that would be enough to stop this kind of stuff from happening. Alright, what did the kid look like? Tell me as much as you can remember. Well, from what I can remember, the kid wasn't too tall. Maybe around 5 foot 7, bit chubby and pale. Yeah, come to think of it, he did take a lot of chocolate with him. Well, surely if he was a bit big, couldn't you have caught him? If I tackled him, or even laid a finger on him, I know who would be the one in cuffs. When did all of this happen? This all happened around 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm surprised you came as quick as you did. Thanks for the information. I'm gonna check for some clues. Could you, uh, point me to some witnesses? Da! Speak with Lizzie. She works here. I think there's a shopper somewhere here too that saw the chubby white child. Yo, what's up, Donut Patrol? Wow, that's... that's a new one. Tell me, did you see a suspicious chubby white kid? Yeah, he came in and stole like a couple of Hershey chocolate bars. Not that I eat anything with calories. I spoke to him before. He's really stuck up with like a thick English. Uh -huh. So we're dealing with a chubby English kid. Well, shouldn't be too hard to find then. Honestly, I couldn't care less. Mo cares way too much about the slightest thing going missing. In a way, he reminds me of Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs? Ugh, you're too old to understand. Okay then, uh, thank you. Oh, thank God you're here. What what happened was 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 horrible. Hey, calm down. Have you never been outside before? Things like this happen. But sir, if you saw what I saw, it just, it just happened so fast. One moment he was he was looking at the candy section, and the very next. He was running off as fast as his tiny, chubby legs could go. I heard. Do you have any unique and useful information that you could give us? <laughs> no. Right, we've spoken to everyone. We might have enough info to identify the suspect, or we could look around the store for some evidence. I know how to do this, dimwit. So we done with the crime scene? There are suspects waiting outside that the cops have found. Yeah, let's bust this case. Okay, you have three chubby kids to pick from. Never thought I'd ever say that, but still. Pick one, look them over, and choose the one that fits the info. Don't know why I'm telling you this, you've done this like a thousand times before. Hmm, five foot seven, clearly chubby. Hey! Could you say something for me, bud? Why should I say anything to you, fam? Okay, then. Very clearly English. Damn. 
You are taller than me, boy. <laughs> the police force is good at finding chubby kids. You also have chocolate around your lips. Why's that? It's not chocolate. Okay then. <laughs> Moving on. Hmm. Well, you're the shortest one here, but you're chubby. Speak for me. Good night, mate. Nope. 